I came here uh, thinking it was just going to be uh, an overnight stay and I came here with uh, a pretty small uh, carry-on uh, with all these uh, gifts that I've uh, <coughs> got. Makes me feel that maybe I should have come with uh, a bigger case. But I think, I think more than uh, more than the case, I've I've got to say that, and more than the gifts, I've got to say that I'm I'm really overwhelmed by by the affection and the love that you all have shown in conferring all these. Uh, honors on me, giving me these wonderful gifts and uh, making me feel very, very special. I also want to thank for the, uh, for the terrific uh, introduction that was given because generally when I go to any event, any function in India particularly, the, the host of the program, the master of the ceremony, they generally get away by saying, oh, so they, he needs no introduction. <laughs> but this was absolutely spectacular. I mean, there were things that, that were said, which I didn't know myself. So, uh, thank you so much for all that uh, wonderful introduction. I'm here today to speak about not so much about me, but about another gift that we all can give. And that is a gift of life. It's to the children who are born with congenital heart defects. And thank you, Rotary, for committing to do 2,025 surgeries, which is unbelievable. That is a massive, massive People ask me, how did I get involved with this particular project? I've been, my family have been devotees of Sri Satya Sai Baba for more than half a century. And when he, under his guidance, the first Satya Sai Sanjivani Hospital was opened in New Raipur, where it was opened especially for children born with congenital heart defects where, like it has been told to you, there is no cash counter, there is no billing at all. Every procedure, every intervention is done totally, totally free of cost. There are four such hospitals now in India. There's, a, there's one in Fiji, there's one in Colombo, there are many more. On, on the annual and they will be made in the next few years. And, if, and the motto of these hospitals is very, very simple. <coughs> Only dil, no bill. We... And with a success rate of almost 99.4%, these hospitals are saving just about every child with CHD that comes to them. Like I was saying, I got involved because apart from being a devotee, this particular cause resonated with my career. This gift of life, the second chance, is something that resonated with my career. When I made my debut for India, in the West Indies. I was batting only on 12 and I played a shot and the ball took the outside edge, went to second slip where the greatest of them all, the one and only Garfield Sobers was feeling. And it was as we in cricket, cricketing circles call a dolly catch, a sitter right in the middle and he dropped it. He dropped it and he gave me a second cricketing life. 
with that second life that I got second opportunity to continue batting, I went on to get a half century and kept my place in the team for the next game as well, next test match as well. Where again I was batting on, on six and I flashed hard at the delivery from, from a, a fast bowler, the ball flew off the edge again to Sadafi and this time around it, it was really a, a hard catch. It bounced off his chest before he picked it up, before he could see it. And again, it, it fell to the earth. And I went on to get my first ever test match century. And thereafter, with Swami's blessings, I managed to keep my place in the team for the next next 17 years till I decided that I had enough of the game and I should venture somewhere else, venture out. So it, this cause resonated with me simply because to be able to see a, a child being given another life was something really, really extraordinary. And even more extraordinary, even more touching is when you are at these hospitals and when you see the, the, the doctors coming out after performing the procedure and telling the parents and in these hospitals